So hello and welcome back to another installment on my channel. Um, this video is uh, gonna, it relates to an order I placed with the Spider Shop on the 26th of December. Obviously with bank holidays and everything else, there was a delay with the postage um, and then we had to wait for the weather to warm up a little bit. Um, in classic Royal Fail, Royal Mail style, we, uh, we waited a while for this package. Um, it was at their depot for eight days um, and it's only just been delivered to me today. So you can imagine I wasn't holding out much hope for um, the spiders that I have coming. Um, also as a side note, you can probably hear my voice is still a little bit ropey, but it's a damn sight better than it was in my life. In this video, I'm gonna unbox some tarantulas that have been in a freezing cold depot, uh, Royal Mail depot. Um, for a week. Um, let's see what happens. I mean, this tissue paper is freezing cold. I don't believe it. Okay, so these don't <laughs> these don't seem to do very well on plastic.
We've had success with the first two. Looking down here, that's not looking positive. And we've had a molt. So this one seems to be coming back to life a little bit more now, uh, now that it's warmed up. Um, I'm probably going to butcher this horrifically, um, but scientific name on this is uh, Diplora sanguina or sanguinea, sanguinea, I don't know, it sounds like a pasta dish. Um, the common name would be a curving web spider. how we do with this one. They are quite a fast species, obviously this one isn't too fast at the moment and I'm hoping it's going to stay that way um, whilst we go into a little rehouse. So for the enclosure for this one, I am just going to use a Moria worm tub. It does the job perfectly well. As I said, this is a curtain web. I'm not really entirely sure what to expect of it. I've struggled to find much information for this, um, either on YouTube um, or just generally on the internet. It's not very easy finding any care guides, um, but I'm going to assume that it's going to want anchor points. So we have a few little bits of plastic plant going in there. And hopefully that will do.
really well camouflaged up against that um, substrate there. Now, substrate wise, I'm just using topsoil. And hopefully, this should provide a nice home for the foreseeable future. Next up, we have the Ramastola pulp ripes or pulp puppies, however you choose. So small, it's really difficult to get this to focus. A uh, common name for this species is uh, Chaco Golden Meat. It's so tiny. <laughs> This one is just going to be going back into one of these vials. Um, nice deep substrate there, so we can borrow. Oh, just give it a little start. Of it. Just about to see the burrow there. We'll give it somewhere to hide. And straight down to the bottom. Now we just have to wait about 15 years for it to actually grow up. <laughs> These things take forever. Next up, I don't even know if I can get this to focus, it is so small. This is the next one going in. And I think <laughs> scientific name Aresus Cinnabarinus. Again, probably totally butchering it. It is tiny, tiny, tiny. And again, that one will be going into another one of the uh, 
little vials. I don't really know whether these burrow. I don't believe that they do, but you never know. There doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there on these. seem to be able to find information on older specimens and they seem kind of arboreal from what I can gather so maybe this will want to borrow maybe it will want to rub something up I don't know where we're going with this if anybody has any useful information on any of these species please feel free to drop that down in the comments um, everything is useful. Delicately trying to get this little fella out. So yeah, this is the, it's either a ladybird or a velvet spider, I think. What they're commonly known as. It's a cute little thing. incredibly shocked that these guys survived um, eight days um, in the current British weather. It's been pretty much freezing, uh, especially this last week. Communication with the spider shop or from the spider shop has been absolutely brilliant. I've kept them up to date with everything all the way through. Um, and they've, well, they know that they're, they've arrived and, and that they're, they seem to be okay. Um, and they've offered to extend the uh, live arrival, the the live arrival guarantee um, for an extra couple of days just to make sure that everything's all, all right with them. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, so I genuinely can't fault the spider shop. The spider shop has always been my go-to uh, for tarantulas. Um, when you get this sort of quality of service, um, it's, it's easy to see why. Um, there's a lot of other big sellers out there that you don't get. Um, the service that you're paying for and and in my mind this is the right way of doing business and this is how you retain customers you you, know, you look after the people that are putting cash in your pocket so yes that is all for today thank you so much for watching um, if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing um, it doesn't cost you anything but it helps me and helps my channel um, and gives me some incentive to make videos even when I'm rough voice sounds like this <laughs> if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give it a thumbs down um, any kind of feedback like that is always good yes that's all for me um, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon take care bye bye